Hello again, this is Bark Dude on Closure, and today I want to talk with you about Closure LSP. Um, I'm very excited about this project because it brings uh, static analysis driven uh, code editing, uh, navigation, completion, etc., to Emacs, which is my editor of choice. Um, but it also brings it to other editors uh, like uh, VS Code and um, uh, possibly IntelliJ. I'm not sure, I, but I think it works there as well. And um, VI, Vim has support for this. Um, so it's very exciting that this tooling that is built only once works in every editor. So this saves a lot of, yeah, a lot of effort. Uh, so you do it only once and it works everywhere. Um, so I want to show a little bit how I am using uh, Closure LSP. Uh, before I dive in, I want to thank uh, Digash Degashinsky for sponsoring me on, on GitHub. And um, so he started sponsoring me today. I think he's a user of uh, Babeshka because I see him in the Babeshka channel on Clojure and Slack. Um, so thanks a lot, Dick, for sponsoring. Um, so I'll dive into the Clojure LSP uh, right now. So I'm using Emacs. Um, so I'll be talking about it from the perspective of Emacs and not from other editors. But the Closure LSP project has good uh, documentation. Um, and so you will probably figure it out for your editor as well. Um, so this is my, uh, th this is a snippet from my uh, init.el, uh, which I got from uh, Eric Dello, which is uh, one of the maintainers of Closure LSP. Uh, he's very active and uh, so he has been doing a lot for this project together with the the, the original maintainer Snow, uh, Case Nelson is his real name. Uh, he started this whole project and uh, together they are really uh, pushing this forward a lot in the in the last year or so. Uh, uh, but I've only been using this for more or less a week or maybe two weeks. So in Emacs, uh, <clears throat> ensure that the LSP, LSP mode package is installed using your favorite uh, package installer and you will need to activate it for your closure uh, mode, uh, modes in Emacs. Um, so yeah, th that's how you do th that. Um, <clears throat> so for closure, closure script, and closure C, which is the CL CLJC uh, mode. And then there are some settings. I won't go into details a lot, but uh, what is the most important here is that uh, Emacs starts a binary. Uh, the binary contains the server the LSP server, which does all the all of the analysis uh, and communicates with the client. And I made a little bit difference here uh, from what people typically do, because I, I run CLJ Condo, uh, the linter uh, from master myself. And um, <clears throat> so I turned diagnostics off, but if you don't do this, you will get the CLJ Condo linting uh, for free without installing CLJ Condo itself. Um, so that's basically my, my setup. So now we will go into Emacs and I will show you a, an example. So we go to sample. So I, I have an um, I have a project here, and now when I visit this, then LSP asks me uh, this 
you have not initialized this project yet, would you like to import this project? And it asks you about the root of your project. So I just press uh, I and now it starts uh, the project. So this is my Debs Eden, it's empty, but this is just to give uh, Closure LSP the right dependencies for my project because it's going to use the class path using Debs Eden uh, to analyze my dependencies. So it will analyze Closure itself. And uh, so, so I will have, uh, I can navigate to definitions inside Closure itself, for example. So now I will go to, let's see, a script. And um, let's see. So if I, so this is just a script in my, in my sample project. And when I type, uh, let's see. So when I type str, uh, which is the alias for string here, then it comes up with all kinds of uh, auto completions. And this is because it knows about, uh, yeah, about the closure string namespace. So I type blank, for example. Um, so this works and oh, let's zoom in. Uh, this is pretty awesome because uh, the, the autocomplete is a little bit uh, wonky sometimes. So sometimes I need to move the cursor a bit before it really works, but not sure what this is, but uh, maybe this can be enhanced. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so you get all, you can get also these nice, uh, uh, yeah, suggestions like, okay, lowercase, uh, I want to lowercase this, but you can now, uh, because Closure LSP knows about uh, this function because it analyzed it, you can just navigate to it. Uh, so I will press uh, option or uh, the, I guess it, in Emacs, it's called the M key. So I will press M dot and now <clears throat> it takes me to Closure 1.10.1, which is the default uh, closure version for the closure CLI tools on my machine currently. So it took me to this, this function um, and I don't have a REPL running. So it's all done using uh, static analysis, which is pretty cool because if your REPL tooling breaks for some reason, this all uh, still works. So uh, let's, what, what more do we, do we have? So we can do defn foo and now <clears throat> maybe in some other namespace. So I'll just remove this. So in, in some other namespace maybe. Um, so let's do sample script two. Uh, let's see script two, and now we do require script one, or script s, s, I don't know. So now we can do s, uh, oops, yeah. So now the autocomplete works for namespace s, <clears throat> and um, also I can, if I put a doc string here, so this is nice documentation. Then I go to the other buffer. And when I turn on lens mode, which is a feature in LSP, um, let's see, I didn't expect. Oh yeah, of course, uh, I ne need to enable it here. So now I, <clears throat> I can see this is lens mode, which gives you a little bit uh, of a hint uh, about what, uh, who, and where uh, this function is referenced. So it only have, has one reference. Uh, so this is what comes from lens mode, but you can also go here and then do LSP describe thing at point. And now <clears throat> Emacs will show me the documentation as well for, for this function. Um, and there is another uh, package for Emacs, which is called LSP UI. Um, and LSP UI will 
even if you hover over this function, it will even have a little UI which shows the doc string, but I found that a little bit too noisy. So I turned that off, but uh, you can even go further than, than this. Um, so it has, so the lens mode tells me uh, how many reference there are, references there are. I also turn this off usually because um, <clears throat> lens mode, because I find it a little bit too noisy, but it can be useful if you like want to uh, discover unused functions, for example. Um, so, uh, but if we want to, ha to have a list, like if I use sfoo in multiple places, uh, so I'm using it in three places now, <clears throat> um, excuse me, then I can say uh, lsp find references. And now it will show me a list of all the places where this function is used. So I can visit them one by one and maybe change it or something. And but what Closure LSP also can do is look at your locals. And so if I have a local variable or binding called X and I'm using this uh, in a long function, like you have a function 50 lines or something. So you say uh, plus y, x, y, and then there are lots of lines in between here. Yeah, so then if you want to see where x was uh, introduced, you can also say LSP um, find definition. And now it will navigate to where this local was introduced. So this is pretty, powerful um, um, and you can also see a list of where this uh, where this uh, local variable is used so you can see uh, so I use it in a couple of lines here Oops. so I'm using X in a couple of lines here and you can see uh well you can see find references and now we get all places here where the local variable x is used which is pretty cool uh they recently even added more uh things you can find so if you uh use keywords so if we if we require namespace close your string as str and now we have an, a keyword str foo and a keyword closure string foo these are essentially the same keywords because the closure reader will expand this um, alias into uh, into this keyword so when I want to find uh, references of all, all the uh, all the keywords closure string foo, then it comes up with these two places, which is pretty cool because this is used for closure spec and uh, reframe as well. So it's pretty easy to find all of all of your um, specs where they are defined and where they are used, just using one uh, or two keystrokes, which is yeah, pretty fantastic if you ask me. So how does uh, Closure LSP do this analysis? And this is where uh, CLJ Condo comes in because they are using, they recently switched uh, their analyzer to CLJ Condo. So if you look here in crawler.clj, you see they are using CLJ Condo core and here they have a function run condo on paths. This is run when you do the uh, analysis. Uh, when 
Close your LSP analyzes your entire project to get all this information. And it's also, and this function is executed every time you edit a buffer, then the, the buffer is analyzed um, another time to, to make the update. So if I define a new function here, they will run this function on this text. And now, <clears throat> now, so, uh, now close your LSP knows where all of this is used. So recently, um, we added a new feature in, so Closure LSP and, and Sail Jacondo are now collaborating on, on features because they are using Sail Jacondo for analysis. So what was recently added to support the, uh, the auto completion is when you type str and then uh, uh, the slash, you will get an invalid symbol because str slash uh, is not yeah, a valid symbol enclosure, but you will still get the auto completion. So this required a fix in Sailor Condo um, to keep analyzing, to continue analyzing, even if you have uh, an invalid symbol foo bar. So and you will still get all of the analysis and linting from Sailor Condo. So here we see that ink is called with zero args but it but it expects one even though there are invalid symbols here so this is was recently added on sale condo master but um but closure lsp is moving very fast so they released yesterday with already the newest sale condo from master so if you are using closure lsp you will get even faster updates from uh, Sylvia Condo than if you were using Sylvia Condo itself, which is, uh, yeah, a nice bonus, maybe. Uh, so I think this video has been running long enough now for 20 minutes, so I'll, I'll uh, some closing thoughts, maybe. Uh, so close your LSP, it's, it's pretty, yeah, interesting technology. Uh, it has some rough rough edges as you could see in this video, but it also provides uh, very useful features. Um, and the people behind this project are very receptive for uh, feedback and they have a very nice um, channel here on Clojurian's Slack. Let's see, it's, it's just called LSP and um, uh, yeah, I would say if you have any questions, join this channel and then uh, Eric or other people um, in this channel who have already set up Closure LSP in their editor can help you uh, set this up. Um, so this video was a little bit chaotic. I hope uh, it was still useful for you. Um, and maybe, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, post them in the, the comments below or, uh, or on the LSP channel on Clojure and Slack. Um, see you later.